Welcome back everyone to another episode of Road to Pro. Today we're going to talk about doubles. You've got it, doubles. Doubles consists of having great teamwork, great communication, the ability to know your teammate, and so it's about having a really good teammate. No, it's not. Really good teammate. Doubles is all about consistency, understanding your teammate, and knowing how to predict what your teammate's going to do, and it's also for your teammate predict what you're going to do. Knowing when to switch with your teammate, when to take timeouts, all of those things are vital to doubles foosball. I think you and I can get along for just a few minutes to show these people something. Let's go. The first step to great doubles is really knowing your teammate. Knowing your teammate down a point or down two points trying to go let me up let me up it's not going to work that's not going to make a good team your goalie if you're a forward that is has to know when you're just struggling for a moment or if you're just at wit's end and can't figure out how to score i've been in so many tournaments where knowing my teammates so well has gotten me that extra pass got me that extra block got me so many things. You know, if I know my goalie is going to stay home no matter what on this short slider shot that they're going to take, I know that I can go after something else. I know that I can go after their long if they're trying to shoot that or some other shot. It really allows for me to be more versatile on the table and it will allow for you to do the same. Knowing your roles, knowing where you have to be is absolutely crucial for doubles play. Making a vital pass to your forward at the most crucial time in a match can make or break your match. What I do here for Mike in this pass against Ryan Moore helps us seal the deal in this match. A lot of people don't know it, but to let them know not to move and that a pass is coming, you can do something very simple. Wiggle your foot. This is something your forward can see, and the opponent can't. Knowing when to take timeouts in doubles is very difficult. Do you want to take momentum away from your team? Do you want to try and take momentum away from your opponent? It's tricky. I've had my momentum taken from me, taking a timeout, for example, I took a timeout in a huge match against Billy Pappas. You can check it out in this, uh, on this channel. And it took the momentum away from me, and I ended up losing the match in the fifth game in overtime. Because of that simple timeout I took, it cost me the match. However, in another match against Ryan Moore, he took, out a he took a timeout on me, telling me to collect my thoughts after he stuffed me. What that did was allow for me to actually collect my thoughts. I instantly get a block, clear the ball, we end up winning the match. <laughs> no, stop. Stop, no. Timeouts are tricky. You have to know when to take them. I think a good rule of thumb is if you're ever in trouble, take a timeout. Just take one. It's that simple. If you ever need to take a timeout because you're running out of time, take a timeout. Also easy. I also think a big one is on turnovers, on a big point. For example, say it's three to four, the opponent's up. You steal a vital pass, it was their drop, you steal the pass, 
take a time out. It's four to three. You're down. Collect your thoughts. Make sure this pass counts. Super important. Trust me, in doubles, it helps a lot. The last thing I want to talk about is switching. It's not an easy one to talk about. Switching with your teammate a lot of times means you don't have faith in them to do their job. If your goalie's getting bombed by a particular forward, and it's a big point, maybe it's time to switch. I've been in matches many times when my forward thinks it's a good time to switch. And I'll straight up tell them no. It means two things. One, I have nothing but faith in them as a forward. Two, it means I know what I'm doing back here. Don't you worry about it. There was once a match against my own partner that I play with a lot, Michael Arrakis, and Paul Smith, while I was playing with Medio Gilmore, who I think is one of the the greatest players ever, and so easy to play with. Love the guy. Bef right during the match, maybe two balls in, he looks back to me, he's like, do you want to switch? Nope. That decision gave my forward what he needed at the time, and that was more confidence against a really strong team in Paul Smith and Mike Delarakis. They're an incredible team. But because of that decision and that confidence that was given, he knew that I had faith in him to get the job done up here. And that I had faith in myself as the goalie. Those little things you have to think about. You can't just push your forward out of the way or push your goalie out of the way. In a DYP, it's one thing. You don't have the matchup experience. You don't have the time on the table together. But in true doubles, open doubles, expert pro, you got to trust in your teammate. And you got to show them trust. The real bottom line is to make sure that you have a game plan. You want to know everything there is to know about your teammate, what your role is. As a forward or a goalie, you have different roles, different places to be on the table. Your zone is super important. Knowing what passes your teammate can catch, can't catch, is good at catching. They all are a factor in playing great doubles. Look at some of the greatest doubles teams of all time. Dave and Tracy. If you ask one about the other, they know everything. Todd and Fred, same situation. All the greatest teams of all time for foosball know a lot about their teammate. This helps them so much in tournaments. You actually will struggle a lot of times just picking up somebody and playing a tournament. I'm not saying you can't win. I've done it. But knowing your teammate, knowing what they're capable of, working with each other is always going to be the best way to win. Hey guys, thank you so much again for watching this episode of Road to Pro. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Many videos to come with the new camera we got yet again. And again, guys, happy Thursday.